still remember it clearly. The first snow had just fallen, and my wife Kat, who was away on business for four days, was leaving for another week in a few hours. I had a choice to make. Stay, which is obviously the most practical, most sensible thing to do. Save us a buttload of money, work while Kara's at the kindergarten, or... Here's the setup. 16 days to the US and Canada. A cheap camera and a kit lens as my main cam, another one specifically for photos, a reasonably priced travel tripod, a few lens filters, and a couple of microphones. I had no story in mind, no script, no shot list, but I knew I wanted to make something meaningful. Kara's 5, Kat's 36, I'm 34. And I know that right now, this point of our lives, will almost be as fleeting as the snow that day. So won't you come by, don't you? Be a stranger because you are a friend to me. Ah, it's so cute, right? Days, get a little better with a little company. If only we could all, we all could be. Look, there's smoke. Can you see it? I have only two. I'm gonna make I'm it more. I'm gonna make it more. Booking a last minute flat has kind of always been on my bucket list. I think it's because I grew up watching all of those rom com movies from my time. Only. As a cool backstory and layer of conflict, my character loses his voice at the start of the strip. So he has to rely on the cheap camera he brought to tell the story. The skyscrapers, contemporary facades, and sound of the sea. It was surprisingly refreshing to be in a modern city like Seattle again. The weather was pretty okay. Half of the time it was sunny and the other half just rainy, foggy, and gray. And despite feeling awkward setting up my camera on the tripod to film ourselves, I did it anyways. I think it's always better to have fragments of something than to have nothing at all. Regardless of whether or not you're into filmmaking or YouTube or content creation, even if these videos just somehow find themselves ending up in folders and gigabytes upon gigabytes of storage in your hard drive. I mean, I've still got so much backlog, a treasure chest of memories of trips we took. Like the last time we were in. I know it doesn't always make sense, but there's a certain kind of high that I get from my obsession to freeze time through these little videos of mine. It's not the likes or the views, but more so getting to replay these experiences, imagining our lives as a movie. Piecing together these clips and weaving a story, stories we would have otherwise forgotten. Fragments of memories of five-year-olds probably too young to remember. I'll be green. To be reminded exactly of 
how it felt in these pockets of time. That feeling. That feeling, at least to me, makes it make sense. <laughs>